Ladies and gentlemen, we present Justice. The State of Illinois versus Roxy Hart for the murder of Fred Casey. Thank you. The State calls Mr. Amos Hart. Blah, 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 blah. True, true, yeah, yeah. I certainly do. Question by Sergeant. What happened next? Answer by Roxy. I shot him because he walked me in the box. Sign Roxy. Do you recognize that signature? Yes, sir. It's the signature of the lady who used to be my wife. Exactly. Take this. Oh, Amos. Amos. That's right, Mr. Flynn. Amos. Hey, Miss Stewart, President, obtaining a divorce from the defendant? Yes, sir. Why didn't you file a suit a few weeks ago? Was there any reason for your filing for divorce at this particular time? Well, I'll say. The newspaper said she was expecting a little stranger. Oh, it's hardly grounds for divorce now, isn't it? A little too much of a stranger? Oh. And why had you doubted the paternity of the child? Well, sure. Did you question her after you read it? Did you even bother to ask her if you were the father? No, sir, but you told Just me to jump to a conclusion. Do you call that plain square? Let me ask you this, Hart. If you became convinced you were wrong, you'd be mad enough to admit it now, wouldn't you? You'd even be willing to take her back now, wouldn't you? If Roxy Hart swore that you were the father of her child, which she does. She does? I do. She does. <laughs> Step down, Betty. The defense calls Roxy Hart. Roxy Hart can stand. Blah, 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 true, true, self, yeah. I do. What is your name? Roxy Hart. Roxy? My fear statement. No, would you admit having had an illicit relationship with the deceased Fred Casey? Is the statement true or false? I'm afraid that's true. You're an honest girl, Roxy. Tell the jury, why did you first meet Fred Casey? When he sold Amos and me our furniture. Also, he was a regular patron at the nightclub where I was a member of the chorus. And your personal relationship with him, when did that happen? When I permitted him to drive me home one night. Hey, Chicky. Hello, Mr. Casey. Find out your ducks, ain't it? I got my car parked right around the corner. Why don't I drive you home? It's raining so hard and all. I know. And I don't think I would have gone with him if Mr. Hart and me hadn't quarreled that very morning. Quarreled? Yes, sir. Well, I suppose it was his fault. Oh, no, sir. It was my fault. Seems I just couldn't stop pestering him. Pestering him? About what? Oh, Amos! I don't want to work at that cheap Southside nightclub. I don't like you working those long hours at the garage, either. Amos, I want you home with me. I want to do your laundry. I want to darn your socks. I want to iron your shirts. I want a real home and a child! So, you drifted into this illicit relationship with Casely because you are unhappy at home? Most unhappy. I love you, honey, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, you do respect the sacredness of the marriage, right? Oh, yes, sir. Then why did you continue this affair with Casely? Why did it just stop? I, I did want to. I tried to, but Mr. Casely, he'd bleed and he'd say, I can't live without you! I can't live without you! I can't live without you! I love you, honey, I love you. <laughs> I was being torn apart! Roxy Hart, the state of Illinois has accused you of the murder of Fred Casely. Are you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, not guilty. I, I killed him, yes, but I'm not a criminal. There, there. Roxy, can you recall the night of February the 14th? Yes, sir. Tell the jury in your own way the happenings of that night. Well, since the day it was afterwards about 2 a.m., and I went up to all my grocery stores and got some baking powder to make cupcakes for my Amos. Oh, Amos just loves my cupcakes. And then I went right home, and I took my bath, and I was getting ready for bed, but suddenly the door opened. Now, I thought that it was my friend Gloria, so I slipped into my kimono and went to the door. And who was there? Fred Casely. 
Like all yours! 